What's up? It's Mark Cabrera with the Monterey County Herald.com slash the beat. I'm with Pep Love <laughs> of the Hieroglyphics crew. Uh, just one of the one of the most uh, respected lyricists in the underground uh, today. And just been doing it for 15 plus years, right, Pep? Art, be at the forefront of what hip hop is all about. You know what I mean? We about to change the game. Drop that shit. Check it. Yeah, uh, hieroglyphics, y'all. Yeah, ha <laughs> you don't stop. My man O, OPO Lindsay, Triangulation Station. You know what I mean? The Vulture's Wisdom, A plus, casual, Dell the Funky Homo. Now uh, you got a you got a, a single out. Change is right now. Uh, it was, it, was uh, it was dropped on the day of the inauguration. Care to talk a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was a song that I did. Like I just wanted to do a new song for um, the changing of the year, and uh, because it was, you know. I didn't do the song specifically for the inauguration, but since the inauguration was coming up, it would be it was a perfect opportunity to drop it while people's attention were uh, on a concept like change. And uh, it just was, uh, what did you call it? Uh, synchronicity, I guess. It all came together. We give it to you. Ha. Uh, we give it to you. Hieroglyphics, y'all. We give it to you. Ha ha. We give it to you. Be boys, we give it to you. Be girls, we give it to you. The whole world, we give it to you. We give it to you. We give it to you. Uh, we give it to you. Right on. Now, now you're not known primarily as a political rapper. You're no more it's just being one of the best lyricists out there on the underground circuit. Um, just talk to me about a little bit about the Hyro. Um, you guys is uh legacy just as is when you came into the game and kind of put more of the emphasis on the lyrics and and uh and how that's uh maybe evolved over the past 15 years or so the emphasis was on lyrics for us because that's what the kind of music that we were into i think what was different was the fact that we were from here and uh you know most of the the, the music from the california hip-hop from california bay area was all like pretty much gangster rap or whatever and a different musical style more like funk and we were into you know like the, the, I, mean, I guess that was more P-Funk. We went to like the deep soul, funk, jazz type stuff. And just lyrics that based on our influence is not like necessarily something that we originated, but it was something that was in hip hop that people from our region necessarily didn't, didn't feel as much. And all, all right, it's good to have people really observing, and you know what I'm saying, really trying to see what it is. So um, in the spirit of that, I'm going to kick these lyrics and see if y'all can keep up with me. Check it. This is one of the original joints off the Third Eye Vision album. Some classic shit, at least in my mind. It go, after dark, it's ripping season. After dark, it might happen for the wrong reason. After dark, this shit don't cease until the break of dawn. I shoot the breeze up to the beat, y'all. This is it, y'all. Freak, freak, y'all. Rock, rock, y'all. I broke the big y'all. Why don't you come into what I'm into? Slip into darkness and listen, I rhyme monumental. Never I fought to halt or alter my ulterior assault to inferior thoughts of people. In the process, the party we will wobble, but it don't fall down and it won't stall now. Beware, the boy's bad after seven when the lights go. You guys kind of came in and changed the game with, uh, made people pay more attention to the lyrics. Yeah, I think uh, the way it's evolved today is like, um, not necessarily about like lyrics, it's just kind of like how people put their music in to get their music to people. You know, I think uh, we were one of the first groups to use the internet and have a website, and get our music, you know, sell music on our website, sell our merchandise, come out independent, like, and just go basically release a record from, from going and doing shows for people and selling music ourselves and I think now it's just, um, I think now it's just basically evolved to a point to where most people are like only about, um, you know, just not only about, but people are about doing their own thing and not necessarily needing a, a record label to get it out there because record labels don't care about lyrics, they just care about making money. Yeah. My perspective is a bird's eye view, meaning you ain't looking at me when I'm looking at you. 
crooked angles. Log it all up in my book of logistics. Tales of the places we done took it like this shit. Niggas are due to get attention. Flashing and flossing, writing like they rich with no intellectual enrichment. They pull up to the light thinking it's all right and get they wig split by the local town jacker. Act a fool, smack a fool with the back of the tool. Doing dirt, not nah. caring who we hurt, not nah. even aware when the gunshots came tearing through his shirt from one of the many people that he robbed before at this same intersection. Now with his chest blown in this. For us, in, in order for us to preserve the art form and do what we feel is the thing that hip hop is, we got to be able to put it out there ourselves. I think that's kind of just the way the whole hip hop generation or the whole hip hop movement is moving towards. You got to be independent and be able to do your thing yourself if you want to even come out nowadays. Check, check, check. Yeah. Do what it says. Everybody. Yeah. This is real hip hop in the building right now. So you guys can come as close. To Tyro Imperium. Uh, that's the that's the label that you record for, right? Is that? Yeah. That that's our la That's the label that I own and we own collectively. And that that was definitely the model that you guys used. Like you were saying, it just kind of changed the way that indie, indie artists uh, operate, and, yeah. and people, a lot of people follow that model. Um, you got a new album coming out later on this year on the Hyrule Imperium label. You want to talk a yeah, little bit about the reconstruction? The reconstruction is my new um, release that, have, you know, it's it's an album that I've done that that's been done for a while, but um, you know, it's just uh, the business side of things definitely can hold you up as far as releasing records, and that's you know that's. That's a part of actually the whole reconstruction of me as an artist is being more in control of what I do and not, you know, dependent on anybody. You can have an independent label or be on an independent label but still look to someone else to try to get stuff done for you. But my record is a lesson to me actually of what it takes to, to do this. It's not about what people are supposed to do in, in the music and entertainment business. People don't do their job because it's their job. People do their job because they're interested and they feel like they can get something out of it. You know what I mean? And that's the that's one of the things. That being more pragmatic, I can see myself as an artist and as a, just a person growing and getting older. I've learned, and um, this record is even though it took as long as it's it's taken, it's it's right on time. Right on, right on. You got uh, any? Uh is is the Hyrule crew uh, all all showing up on on the album? Is is it pretty much an in-house deal, or you got any special guests coming uh, up on there? Is you know what? You'll see. <laughs> all right, got my man Pep Love here. We're at Wave Street Studios. Want to thank you very much for coming through, showing no doubt, some bro. love to my area. Monterey. Mark Cabrera with the Monterey Herald, MonteryHerald.com. Pep Love. No love. Peace, y'all. Peace. Enchanted wisdom of the land in the West Coast is host to the everlasting plan. Pacific Heights, we take flight to live it like never before. The sun sets to settle the score from whence it came. No longer the same See, we reflect to cause an effective change. Uh, cause an effective change. See, we reflect to cause an effective change. Uh, hieroglyphic y'all, hip hop, yeah, people, youth. Whoa, don't die. Take care of yourself, y'all. If you drunk, get a designated driver. Make it home alive. We out, hieroglyphics.